Welcome to On Demand Module 1, Start the Year Off Right with National Geographic Reach. This is the first in a series of On Demand modules to help you get started using National Geographic Reach. National Geographic Reach is a core ESL program that delivers integrated instruction in language, literacy, and content for English language learners in grades K-5. Reach is aligned with national and state curriculum standards for ESL, ELD, English language arts, science and social studies, including the Common Core state standards. As I said earlier, this is the first in a series of on-demand training modules to help prepare you to use REACH in your ESL classroom. After you complete the module, you will want to view the remaining modules depending on which grade level you teach or which REACH levels you will use. We also have additional recorded webinars for our phonics and newcomer programs to support implementation success. Now that your district has chosen REACH, you may be asking yourself a few questions. What does REACH offer to support student success and teaching success? What specialized strategies are available in REACH to support academic success? What is the instructional path for each unit? How do I customize REACH lessons to fit my schedule? And how do I access the online resources? During this session, I will help answer these questions by giving you an overview of the program and of all of the teacher and student materials. I will also showcase the specialized strategies in REACH that will help you frame your lessons, including the multi-level strategies and more. Then, I'll walk you through the instructional path for each unit, including our consistent path to teach, model, practice, and apply. Next, I will share how you can customize your own lesson plans using the REACH Online Lesson Planner. <clears throat> and finally, I'll show you how you can set up your account to access both the student and teacher online resources at MyNG Connect. Let's get started. National Geographic REACH is the next generation of language vocabulary, reading, writing, and content for English language language learners with engaging experiences to immerse students in a dynamic language environment. Structured support to scaffold essential skills to move all learners to independence and prepare them for success. And instructional flexibility to help you adapt your instructional priorities and requirements. REACH is correlated to the Common Core Standards, the WIDA Standards, and state-specific standards, both language standards and English language art standards. All correlations can be found online at our website at ngsp.com. Just click on the Correlations tab at the top of the website, select your state, select National Geographic Reach, and download the correlation you need for implementation success. I'd like to introduce you to the Reach Author Team, which is made of leading experts in the field. Our authors include Nancy Fry, our expert in reading instruction, content area reading, and diverse student support. Deborah Short, our ex expert in the area of content-based ESL instruction. Noni Lisseau, our expert in reading development and reading difficulties of children from linguistically diverse backgrounds. Sylvia Thompson, our expert in reading intervention. Jennifer Turner, our expert in multicultural literature and reading instruction in urban elementary schools and Lada Krotke, our expert in bilingual education. Now that you know who the authors are, let's take a few minutes to learn about some of their research. As I just mentioned, REACH has been designed by experts in language and literacy education. On the REACH in Action professional development website that can be accessed on MyNG Connect, you will find author monographs and podcasts where each program author presents best practices for teaching that are grounded in current research. There is a study guide for each corresponding podcast and monograph that you can use in your professional learning communities at your campus. The next slide will take you directly to the Reach in Action professional development website page you just saw on the previous slide. The session will pause automatically to allow you time to follow the steps on this slide as you strengthen your founda foundational knowledge. First, choose one author monograph to read. Listen to the corresponding podcast. Download the study guide so you can take notes. And then afterwards, make sure you share what you learned with another colleague.
If you have a dual language model in place in your district, we have some great resources that you can access to learn about the role of REACH in a dual language setting. The first defines the role of REACH in a dual language setting, and the second defines implementing REACH in a dual language setting. These resources can be found on our website at ngsp.com in the resources section, and they are also available on the downloads tab on the left side of the screen. Now let's take a look at the engaging student materials. At grades one through five, each student will have their own student anthology with two books at grade one. If purchased, students will also have access to fiction and nonfiction libraries at grades one through five, as you can see with these examples from grade three, and National Geographic Explorer books at grades three through five to support extended reading. All books are thematically linked to the content in each unit. For the kindergarten level, students receive 16 titles, two per unit of the Read Together books, and 16 titles, two per unit of the Talk Together books, including wordless and label books. All of these student materials across all grades K-5 contain rich National Geographic content to support the language, literacy, and content instruction in REACH. In case you don't have student books in front of you, take a look at these paired reading selections from REACH Grade 3, a beautiful narrative poem, An Island Grows, and a National Geographic exclusive photo essay, Volcano Views. We know the importance of using paired readings to allow students to read and think across genres. With REACH, students will read a wide variety of genres and have many opportunities to understand and analyze across these genres. One of the most valuable resources are our National Geographic Explorers. In the photo essay, Volcano Views, pictured on the right, students will be able to make a direct connection with the poem, An Island Grows, to an actual explorer in the field. Students have an opportunity to travel into a volcano with a real National Geographic Explorer. Here is another example of the paired readings from grade one, where we pair a National Geographic exclusive science article titled Turtles from Eggs to Ocean with a wonderful award-winning story, Ruby in Her Own Time. These reading selections will really keep your students engaged and also provide the rigorous instruction needed for academic success. And at the kindergarten level, the paired selections are included in the big books with the examples you see on this slide from one unit. A Puerto Rican folktale, There's a Billy Goat in the Garden, and the Cherokee folktale, Little Bat Plays Ball. Students will also have access to materials online on our website, MyNG Connect. Here's a quick summary of what's available. First, student e-editions, which are electronic versions of the REACH student anthology and of the REACH into phonics student books. Students have online access to everything in these student books, along with the ability to highlight text, post notes, access the keyword glossary to support vocabulary development, and more. My Vocabulary Notebook is a personalized dictionary that students can use to collect information about newly acquired vocabulary and expand their understanding of these words. The digital library includes language builder picture cards, access to video clips and images, all with an easy to use search feature. And then there are many different games to enhance the acquisition of language and vocabulary. To learn more about these powerful online resources, please make sure you view the REACH On Demand Module 1A. This module is a short video tour that provides more details about these online resources. Now that you know about the student materials, let's take a look at the engaging classroom interactives for both teachers and students. First, the Sing With Me Language Songs Big Books. These engaging songs and chants create risk-free environments for trying out new language at all grade levels, K-5. As you can see in this example from grade three, Sing With Me Language Songs Big Book. These songbooks include language frames to provide valuable assistance when learning language functions. This is just one example of the language-rich focused instruction in REACH language development for ELL learners to advance in language proficiency. And the language builder picture cards include wonderful National Geographic images and they're designed to accelerate vocabulary development in grades one through five. 
Teamwork activities are available across all grade levels. These activities are perfect for learning stations and are designed to boost language and content learning in language arts, writing, listening and speaking, as well as science, social studies, and math. Continuing on with more classroom interactives, at the kindergarten level and grades one and two, the big books inspire learning and discovery and promote engagement. The preview pages in each book allow teachers to introduce the genre and characters. These books also front load instruction for the reading strategy instruction in each unit. And at the kindergarten level, the vocabulary builders and CD provide opportunities for students to engage with the big question and content in each unit to stimulate oral language development. Now let's move on to the flexible teaching resources that each teacher will receive. The Teacher's Edition is your complete resource for planning instruction and assessment. Both volumes 1 and 2 are also available online. The Language Song CD can be found in each Teacher's Edition. The Assessment Handbook is available to provide frequent and varied assessment opportunities to inform instruction every step of the way. The Reach Practice Book and Blackline Masters are also available. This can be purchased as a consumable for each student if your district chooses or you can purchase this book as Blackline Masters so you can copy whatever you need for instruction. At grades 1 through 5, the ExamView CD-ROM includes question banks of all part and unit tests with editing capability, a test wizard to create your own tests, and multiple versions of the same test. You can also print your own tests and answer sheets. Your district District might have purchased additional resources to support phonics and newcomer instruction. First, our integrated phonics resources deliver systematic and scaffolded instruction in phonemic awareness, phonics, and high frequency words. The Alpha Chant Kit is for use at the kindergarten level. There is a Reach into Phonics Kit for Grade 1, a Reach into Phonics Kit for Grade 2, and a Reach into Phonics Kit for Grades 3 through 5. We have a recorded webinar available for each phonics kit that you can view and listen to if you want to go deeper into the instruction. For newcomers, the In the USA kit for students in grades 2 through 5 is designed to develop essential language and literacy skills for newcomers, including beginning language, survival vocabulary, and the basic building blocks of literacy for newly arrived and preliterate students. There is also a recorded webinar available for this powerful tool that you can view and listen to if you want to go deeper into the instruction. As a teacher, you will also have access to REACH materials online at the MyNG Connect website. Here's a quick summary of what's available. First, there are teacher e-editions for REACH and REACH into Phonics. They have embedded links to all of the resources you need right at point of use on each page, including the build background videos, e-visuals, mp3 files for all the songs and chants, assessment handbook pages, and practice masters. The online lesson planner will allow you to easily create or customize plans and includes a variety of ready-to-go plans for dual language models and any time frame from 20 minutes a day to 90. The presentation tool is a great resource to project student e-editions, resources, background videos, and any of the e-visuals using your interactive whiteboard. The digital library includes language builder picture cards, access to video clips, and National Geographic images. All of the REACH assessment tools are available online, including part and unit tests, rubrics, reteaching resources, and more. If you have a lot of leveled books in your classroom already, you'll definitely want to check out the REACH Leveled Book Finder. This will help you link the leveled books that you already have from a variety of core and supplemental reading programs to the content-based themes in REACH. And last but certainly not least, the REACH in Action Professional Development website, which is where you went to access this on-demand training module. The author monographs and podcasts, tools for the classroom, and other resources are there for you to help support the professional learning communities at your campus. Please make sure that you view the REACH On Demand Module 1A and 1B to learn more about these powerful online resources for teachers. There are some great resources in your REACH Teachers Edition that you will want to review to help you get started with a successful implementation. The great news is that these resources are also available online, 
on MyNG Connect and also in PDF format for printing on the Region Action Professional Development website. There are many teaching routines and strategies in REACH. These are listed in a tab section at the front of each REACH Teachers Edition. These routines are research-based and are simple learning procedures that follow consistent steps. There are vocabulary routines, like this one shown here, along with reading routines. Writing routines, like this power writing routine that develops students' writing fluency and builds stamina needed for writing on demand on state tests. Cooperative learning structures that are perfect to use to promote academic talk in the classroom, supporting the acquisition of academic content and academic language and some great language development resources, including the stages of language acquisition, language transfer supports, phonics transfer charts, and more. Another great resource that you'll want to make sure that you review in your teacher's edition starts on page R4. This section includes the sentence stems and activities, as you see on this slide. This section includes all of the language objectives, the language frames that teachers can use to provide access to these objectives for students at all proficiency levels, and teaching strategies and techniques that can be used. These academic language frames are also at point of use in your teacher's edition, and you will see them in action when you attend the Teaching Success with REACH on-demand module where we dive into grade-specific instruction. This section is a great professional development tool that you can use individually or that could be used at your campus to support all teachers differentiating instruction and providing access to these language objectives for students at all proficiency levels. And as we go through any REACH Teachers Edition, you'll also see that the lessons provide many great supports for you, including multiple opportunities to differentiate your instruction based on the needs of your students. There are academic language frames that provide multi-level support to help students organize their thoughts and express their ideas using voca academic vocabulary. When appropriate, Spanish cognates are listed at point of use to support vocabulary development, and multi-level strategies are available in all lessons to provide differentiated strategies for students at each proficiency level. If there are issues with language transfer, they are highlighted at point of use, and newcomer support is referenced when available. To learn more about these supports, Read Dr. Deborah Short's author monograph on scaffolding titled, Extend Your Students' Reach and Move Them Towards Independence. Now that you have a better understanding of the teacher and student materials, let's dive into the organization of the units in REACH. Consistency is key in REACH, both in the lesson structure with how the units are organized in each level and across all REACH levels, making it easy for any teacher to follow and also focusing on the vertical alignment for student success as they move through the grade levels. There are eight units per level, with content-based units focusing on grade level science or social studies content. Each unit in grades one through five follows the same instructional path. You will always begin with a unit launch to build background for the unit, with a big question to set the stage. Moving on, instruction is broken down into two parts. Each of those two parts includes a main selection and a companion selection. One of the two main selections will always be nonfiction, with each unit always having a National Geographic exclusive selection, just like you saw earlier with the examples I shared from grades one and three. Within each unit, each lesson builds on prior lessons to reinforce and extend the information students are learning and the language skills they're acquiring. Within part two, students will also work on the writing project. And each unit ends with a unit wrap-up. The instruction at the kindergarten level is very similar. There are also eight units per level with content-based units focusing on kindergarten science or social studies content. Each unit in kindergarten follows the same instructional path. You'll always begin with a unit launch to build background for the unit with a big question to set the stage, just like grades one through five. Instruction is then followed by a read aloud with the big book to focus on the genre and build background for the unit and build comprehension. Moving on, instruction is broken down into two parts. Both parts include focused instruction to develop phonological awareness and phonics, develop language and academic vocabulary, 
and integrate authentic reading and writing instruction. And each unit has a writing project and ends with a unit wrap-up. To help with lesson planning, another useful tool that you have in your Teacher's Edition is the Unit Planner. This planner is from Unit 7 in the Grade 3 Teacher's Edition. At a quick glance, you can see the unit launch on the left-hand side and the unit wrap-up on the lower right-hand corner. Notice all of the specific skills for this unit for each part, 1 and 2, with the headings at the top focusing on language, vocabulary, reading, writing, along with write learning stations and review assessment. These planner pages will highlight the specific skills you will teach in this unit, along with those that are tested. Each time you see a black circle with a white T, that means it's a tested skill. Now let's take a quick look at how we launch the instruction in each unit. I'll be using examples from grade 3, grade 1, and kindergarten, but rest assured if you focus on the purpose of the lesson rather than the specific content, you'll be able to easily apply what you learn to the level you'll be using in your own classroom, because each unit follows the same instructional path. As I mentioned earlier, each unit begins with a unit launch. The goal of the unit launch is to build background and set the stage for learning. Take a look at the image on the slide that comes from the grade 3 student book and the unit title, Blast, Crash, Splash. Think about these questions as you look at the visual. What do you think students will learn in this unit? And what makes you think that? Questions just like this are used with students in the first step of the unit launch to preview and predict and set the stage for learning. The next step is to introduce the big question for the unit, which in this case is, what forces can change the Earth? Then you will build background by playing one of the National Geographic Build Background videos and discussing the content in the video. After, vi after viewing and discussing the video, students then share what they already know about the topic with a hands-on activity that you see pictured in the lower right-hand corner of this slide. As you can see, students at all levels can be involved as you launch each content-based unit, even with your well, what are big questions? Big questions help spur ongoing student discussion and dialogue and develop high levels of academic talk. Big questions help set authentic purposes for reading. They have no single, simple, or predetermined answers. They provide students with the opportunity to respond verbally, artistically, and dramatically. And they link all of the literacy and content instruction together. Within each unit, there is a general big question that encompasses the entire unit, and there are two sub-questions, one for each part of the unit. For example, if our big question is, what forces can change Earth, our sub-questions for each part are, why are we fascinated by volcanoes, and what gives a tsunami its power? As you can see, all of the questions are tightly connected. Students will be engaged with these big questions throughout the entire unit, as you can see on this chart from a Grade 3 Teacher's Edition showing that the big question is introduced in the unit launch, with many opportunities throughout the unit to continue discussing the big question. Not only do these big questions align with the standards, but they also encourage English language learners to think critically about new ideas and concepts. In kindergarten, first and second grade, the Big Book instruction immediately follows the unit launch. Let's take a quick look at the instruction. This Big Book lesson is a one-time lesson that begins with a preview of the Big Book, allowing students to relate to their own personal experiences and relate those back to the unit launch. Students will have an opportunity to preview the book and make predictions. This example is from first grade and introduces how to read a question book. The big books are also used to build comprehension by front-loading the reading strategy that students will be working with throughout the unit. Another great support when using big books are the strategies that are provided in the teacher's edition to help shelter the story language as necessary to provide access to English language learners at all language levels. Strategies are provided in the column on the left, along with specific examples on the right-hand side. The unit launch in kindergarten is very similar to the unit launch in first and second grade, with a few differences. The big book introduces the big question before tapping students' prior knowledge and builds background for the unit concept. The unit launch at the kindergarten level also includes some new at school instruction that helps develop students' social and interpersonal skills. Look at these great examples that help say hello, ask questions, and listen for directions. 
We will delve into this instruction in more detail in the On Demand Module 4, Teaching Success for Kindergarten. Now that you have a better understanding of how to launch a unit with REACH, let's take a quick look at the instructional path for grades 1 through 5. As I mentioned earlier, instruction in each unit is broken down into two parts after the unit launch. Each of these two parts include paired reading selections, a main selection, and a companion selection. The example on this slide comes from grade 3 and includes a narrative poem and a National Geographic photo essay. Using paired selections in REACH supports students so they can understand and analyze across genre. Within each part, there are 10 days of instruction. Let's take a look at the Teacher Edition planner pages to see how this instruction is laid out. Day 1 begins with introducing the academic language with instruction in the first of two language functions that students will learn in this part of the unit. In the entire unit, they will learn four different language functions. After the introduction of the first language function, students learn the content vocabulary and a literary analysis skill. Day 2 introduces more academic language and begins with the introduction of the grammar skill, academic vocabulary, and the reading strategy. Day 3 builds academic language and introduces students to the second language function, has them work on expanding their word knowledge with focused instruction on the reading strategy in the unit. Reading the selection continues on day 4, while students continue to build academic language. You can see the progression of grammar skills and vocabulary skills with the arrows as you look across the days. Students also think and respond to the text that they have read. On day five, students continue to build academic language beginning with a listening and speaking skill before moving on to applying word knowledge. At the bottom, you can see that students will have daily writing and many opportunities to integrate content instruction throughout each day. Now let's move on to the instruction for days six through 10. Students expand academic language starting on day six, where they start instruction with the companion selection using the same language function that they worked on on day one. The day continues with word work, reading the companion selection, responding and extending what was read. Expanding academic language continues on day seven with grammar and vocabulary instruction and involves students rereading the companion selection. Days 8 and 9 involve application of academic language where students working on their oral language develop, development through a theme theater or an oral language project. And if purchased, this is also the time to work with small groups of students with the leveled books. And finally on day 10, it's time to review and assess what's been taught in that part of the unit. And just like days 1 through 5, we will have daily writing and many opportunities to integrate content instruction, instruction throughout each day. All of the instruction in REACH has been mapped out for you in the REACH online planner. We have ready to go plans for 20, 30, 40, 60, and 90 minutes. You, uh, plans for a dual language model and use for content and literacy focus plans. To learn more about the REACH Online Planner, please make a note to view REACH On Demand Module 1B, which is a short video tutorial. It shows you how to create your own plans, share plans, print plans, and more. In REACH Every Day, across all grade levels K-5, through five, we will begin with the language of the day. Take a look at these examples from the unit at grade 3. What do you notice about these opportunities for oral language development? You can see that they are all science or social studies based. They are linked to the big question in the unit. They increase with more detail and with more complex language frames. With the key goal to develop students' ability to use academic language in talking about content area topics. With REACH, students are engaged in academic talk each and every day. To learn more about the importance of academic talk, read Dr. Noni Lasso's author monograph titled, Turn Up the Volume on Academic Talk. As you move into the instruction in REACH at your own grade level, you will notice that each lesson is consistently organized in the same way. Teach, where the teacher explains what's to be learned. Model, where the teacher models the skill students are expected to learn. Practice, where students practice the skill with support. And apply, where students apply the skill on their own. 
This process gradually releases the responsibility to students with the scaffolding and support that students need for academic success. To learn more about this model, read Lada Krotke's author monograph titled Make Every Minute Count. Let's take a moment to see this model in action with one of the first lessons in the instructional plan that you will teach. On day one in grades one through five, you'll always begin with the introduction of a language function. You will begin the lesson process using the teach model step by teaching the students the language function and modeling how it works. In this case, our language function is telling an original story. So go ahead and read the poem, A Scary Ride. This poem is also included in the Language Songs Big Book in a big book format and also as an MP3 file on MyNG Connect. So you have a great model to use when students with you are teaching and learning the language function. An e-visual pictured on this slide is available also on MyNG Connect to use during that teach model step. These visuals can be projected on an interactive whiteboard. Notice that language frames are built right into the student book page as well. These are right at point of use for students so they can use them when they're retelling the poem. Then, it's time for students to practice and apply what they've learned. Here they tell an original story of their own using a picture that they've created in the unit launch lesson. Teachers use the academic language frames that are shown here to differentiate instruction for beginning, intermediate, advanced, and advanced high students. The Teach Model Practice Apply is included with all skill lessons in reach and it provides the instruction students need along with immediate opportunities to practice and apply their new skills, all leading to student success. When it comes to vocabulary, it's impossible to cover or teach all the words students need to learn, so which words should we teach? The authors of REACH chose high-impact academic words that are required for comprehending content and concepts. These are words that students need to know and understand important, that are in order to achieve academic success. REACH focuses on teaching three sets of high-impact words. First, content vocabulary. The content words in REACH correspond with each unit's theme and they're classified by subject area. Next, general purpose academic words are also taught explicitly in REACH. These can be thought of as delivery words, the words that surround or are used to deliver the content. And lastly, classroom vocabulary. These are important words that are specific to classroom procedures and skill instruction that are essential for students to know. Examples include sequence, which is a key word when focusing on that skill main area, and inferencing when teaching the reading strategy, making inferences. Go ahead and pause the session so you can read Noni Lasso's author monograph, Focus Deeply on Words That Matter. Now that you know the types of words that are taught in REACH, let's look at how those words are taught. Across all grade levels, students using REACH will be immersed in academic vocabulary instruction with frequent opportunities to acquire and use these words and vocabulary strategies. Now, look at a page from the student anthology where the academic vocabulary words are introduced. What built-in supports do you see that provide access for students at all levels? Again, we have photographs, diagrams, like with the word pressure, but you'll also see the part of speech, pronunciation, and a student-friendly example that is contextualized in a sentence. And since the goal with REACH is to get students engaged in academic talk, we provide structured opportunities to talk together in all our lessons, just like these opportunities when we introduce vocabulary. As students move through each unit in REACH, they'll be immersed with these words as they expand and share their word knowledge, learn vocabulary strategies, and review these words prior to assessment. Now let's talk about comprehension. REACH focuses on seven reading strategies to promote comprehension. Plan and monitor reading, determine importance, ask questions, visualize, make connections, make inferences, and synthesize. Each unit will focus on one of these reading strategies. REACH prepares your English language learners for success as a reader with many opportunities to understand a variety of literary texts. Take a look at this page from the Grade 3 book. With each reading strategy, we provide explicit models and support for students with these great how-tos that you see here, where we model how to draw conclusions. We will go into more details with the reading strategy instruction in the on-demand modules. 
If you're interested in learning more about the reading strategy instruction, pause this session and read Sylvia Thompson's author monograph, Build Strategic Thinking. Moving on to writing. REACH prepares English language learners for writing success by capitalizing on the interaction of oral language development in REACH and writing development. You learned about the importance of academic talk earlier with the language and vocabulary instruction that I shared with you, and that same talk is essential when it comes to writing, so students can connect oral and written expression because talk is essential in writing. If time permits, pause the session and read Nancy Fry's author monograph from oral to written expression to learn more about the writing instruction in REACH. When you attend the Teaching Success On-Demand modules for Kindergarten, Grades 1 and 2, and 3 through 5, we will focus on all of the writing instruction in REACH that will prepare your students for academic success. In addition to all of the daily writing opportunities, there are writing projects designed specifically for your English language learners. Each level of REACH has eight writing projects, one per unit, with each project focusing on one writing form, as you can see here with the examples from Grade 3. Each writing project will focus specifically on teaching one writing trait, including focus and coherence, organization, development of ideas, voice and style, and written conventions. And in every writing project, instruction for each step of the writing process is included with scaffolded instruction for each step. We will focus on the writing instruction in more depth in the Teaching Success On-Demand modules for REACH for Kindergarten, Grades 1 and 2, and Grades 3 through 5. Assessment is critical to instruction and academic success, and as you know, REACH provides many opportunities to check for understanding. There are formative assessments to check. Opportunities to assess in all areas, listening, speaking, reading, writing, vocabulary, and grammar. Unit tests that differentiate by proficiency level. Reteaching resources that help you close the gaps before your state language reading and writing tests. Make sure you read Jennifer Turner's author monograph, Get to Know Your Learners and Know What They Know, which both address assessment in REACH. If you have a teacher's edition, Go to the last page in any unit to see the tested skill and opportunities when you will assess, the assessment tool resources that are available to assess, and opportunities to review and reteach. One of the questions we hear from many teachers is, how can I customize the lesson plans in REACH to fit with my schedule? Remember, the REACH Online Lesson Planner has ready-to-go lesson plans for 20, 30, 40, 60, and 90 minutes, plans for a dual language model, along with content and literacy focus plans. You can set up your own lesson plans and share them with colleagues. To learn more about this tool, please make some time to view the REACH On Demand Module 1B, which is a short video tutorial. The last area we will address in this session is a question that we hear from all of our REACH teachers as well. How can I access the online teaching and student websites? Well, if you're watching this on-demand module, you probably have already registered on MyNG Connect and using your own login information to sign in. But if you haven't set up an account yet and want to learn more about the resources, please make sure you view the REACH on-demand module 1A, which is a short video tutorial to learn more about everything that's available on MyNG Connect. Congratulations, you've almost completed the first on-demand module for REACH. I shared with you some of the specialized strategies in REACH that will prepare your students for success. We spent some time focusing in the instructional path in REACH, created an awareness about the REACH online lesson planner, and hopefully I piqued your interest in the online resources available on MyNG Connect, which leads to your next steps. Before you attend the next REACH On Demand module, first study all the resources that are available on the REACH in Action Professional Development website. Review your teacher's edition, including all of the instructional routines. And once your, your components arrive, get to know all of your teacher and student components. Then schedule. Take out your calendar and schedule time to view the REACH On Demand training modules for your grade level. As a reminder, they are listed on the On Demand Training tab on the Reach in Action Professional Development website. 